A drift cart is a powered vehicle which generally has drift wheels on the back which have less grip than normal tyres. This allows the back wheels to drift sideways. There are lots of examples of these sorts of vehicles on YouTube, but driving while drifting under control takes skill. But what about if we could make a drift cart where the amount of drift could be precisely controlled? I previously built a bicycle with an Omni wheel on the front facing sideways. This allowed the bike to balance sideways like a Segway or hoverboard, but still ride like a normal bike. An Omni wheel has lots of small wheels around the circumference of a big wheel, so it can be driven in one direction and slide passively in the other. In the case of the bike, the back wheel is driven by the pedals and the front wheel is driven sideways by a motor. But in this video, we're going to reverse this and put the Omni wheel on the back so it can slide sideways and drive the front wheels of the vehicle with motors. The original Omni wheel is made from longboard wheels attached to steel spokes, which are mounted in a CNC plywood hub. This worked okay, although the longboard wheels are cylindrical, so the outer contour of the wheel has lots of flat edges on it. I was considering making a better Omni wheel for this project, and eventually I'll investigate making small wheels that are similarly contoured to the ones on most other Omni wheels. For now though, I'm just going to lift the Omni wheel from the bike and use that. The longboard wheels are quite squashy, so most of the texture of the wheel contour is absorbed as it rolls anyway. I need to find or build powered front wheels for this project though. While I was at EMF camp, I met some guys who convert bobby cars into terrifyingly high power vehicles. One of them had four 10 inch hoverboard motors installed and a 20 kilowatt hour battery. He reckoned the top speed was 90 kilometers an hour. So I bought some 10 inch hoverboard wheels. These actually have pneumatic tires, which is quite nice. There's various alternative firmware available for the original hoverboard main boards, which allows the motors to be driven from various interfaces. I'll investigate that at some point, but for now I'm going to use skateboard ESCs. The motor has hall effect sensors and 30 magnet poles, which is pretty standard for these wheels, so I found the setup process was easy enough on some VESC clones made by Flipsky. The hall effect sensors are pretty noisy though, so I added some additional capacitors at the motor driver end of the cable, which allowed the auto detection to complete. If you've ever looked at go-kart stub axles for the steering, you'll notice there are some funny angles involved. Colin Furs built a go-kart a while ago with no welding, and you can see that the wheels are upright, but the stub axles are mounted at about 10 degrees, and the chassis is built to compensate. As far as I can tell, this allows the vehicle to settle at a low point when the steering wheel is in the middle, so the car settles with gravity and goes in a straight line by itself. The Bobby Cars guys 3D printed their replacement steering assembly, but they have quite small vehicles and at least two other wheels to support the rider. I heavily considered 3D printing these parts, but I decided in the end to make the whole thing out of metal. But before we carry on with that, it's time for a quick ad from the video's sponsor, which is JLC PCB. 
JLC PCB are at the forefront of the PCB manufacturing industry and they provide high quality low price PCBs. It's easy to order from JLC PCB, just click on instant quote and upload a Gerber file. The JLC PCB website will show a preview of the board and then you can select various options for manufacturing. If you want the board assembled then you can add a BOM and CPL file. JLC PCB currently have an offer where you can get 5 1 to 4 layer PCBs for just $2 with free SMT assembly. JLC PCB is a one stop shop with a team of trained engineers to manufacture and assemble your board under one roof. And with the new JLC PCB parts manager you can check available stocks, order parts or even request specific parts for your project. JLC PCB ships worldwide and they have fast build times so you can get your PCBs in as little as 3 to 5 business days. The JLC store also sells PCB coupons and offers free PCB designs and 3D designs. The ordering process is very easy at JLC PCB so use the link in the description to this video to check it out now. So now we've got two square bits of box section, we can mount the hoverboard motors too, we've got our pivot point at 10 degrees and we've got the chassis with angles made in it at 10 degrees to hold the wheels so they stand straight upright. So that's looking pretty good but we should probably mount those pivot points on some bearings. So I'm going to CNC out some bearing blocks. Thanks to Simply Bearings for the bearings for this project, I've got four bearings and four blocks so we can mount the top and bottom of each of those stub axles on either side. I drilled and tapped the steel and screwed those bearing blocks on to each end of the chassis pieces that I'd already made. So now those are running on bearings nicely, we can get on and we can build the rest of the chassis to hold the Omni wheel and these front forks. So my Omni wheel is mounted on a piece of bright steel bar which is pretty well tolerant for the bearings that are already on the wheel and I've got a collar clamp on each end to stop it falling out. But now we just need to weld on a quick bracket so we can attach a gearbox which will allow us to drive it and this is a really similar setup to lots of projects that I've built recently. This style of gearbox reduction I've used is a belt reduction and it has both 3D printed parts and CNC aluminium parts so just a quick ad from my 3D printing sponsor thanks to lolzbot for supporting my channel with 3D printers. And thanks to 3D Fuel for the filament for this project and lots of other projects so check out my channel for more 3D printing projects and check out 3dfuel.com. So we've got a 6374 Multistar brushless drone motor and that's got a T5 pulley on it. That's attached to an aluminium plate but my pulley is 3D printed which is a 2 to 1 reduction in this case. So we're going small to big and then there's a small pulley which has got an HTD profile belt on it which is going to go to the big pulley on the back Omni wheel on the drift cart. So that seems to be running okay. Now we can attach it to the bracket. So that fits into the bracket here, there's another aluminium plate that bolts in on the front which has the motor driver fixed onto it and then that can slide up and down so that we can tension the main belt against the main wheel. And I've got two bolts there which can be bolted down and fixed in place with nuts and that pushes the gearbox up to tension that belt. Overall that gives us around a 20 to 1 reduction so we should have plenty of torque and we don't actually need that much velocity because the wheel's quite big. Both belts seem to be tensioned pretty well, the T5 belt is just tensioned because it's the right size and the other one is tensioned on that tensioner. So now we can fit the hoverboard wheels which bolt in, they've got a flat on one side of their shaft and I've got two nuts which are welded onto the metal to help reinforce the tapped hole. 
So those wheels look like they're going to steer okay. We still need an actual steering wheel and a steering column and a lever on the end to drive those two levers and get the right angles for steering. Obviously at the moment the back wheel is passive and it can be pushed around so that will drift around however we want it to at the moment and eventually of course all three wheels are going to be powered. So I think this project is going to be a lot of fun when it's up and running, which is going to happen next time. Obviously, I've got to put the steering column in, a seat to sit on. And we also need three accelerators because we need one to make the front wheels go forward and backwards so that we can drive. And then we need two accelerators to drift either side, which I think are going to be paddles on the handlebars. So that's something else I've still got to build. When it's finished, I'll be publishing all the CAD and code so you can build one yourself if you want to. So if you'd like to support me through Patreon or YouTube channel membership, then those links are in the description below and patrons and YouTube channel members can get access to all the videos up to a week early plus sneak peeks and pictures of what's coming up so you can be part of that discussion. Alright, that's all for now.